And turning to the tropics now, the good news is that everything close to home, nice and quiet. But we are closely monitoring potential tropical cyclone number eight. And even though it's unlikely to become tropical storm Helene, especially now that that center of circulation is pushed on shore, it has produced a one in 500 year flood event. You heard me correctly in just to the south of Wilmington. So spots like Carolina Beach, Brunswick County, Oak Island, dealing with about a foot of rainfall in as many hours. So we have just seen a tremendous amount of flooding here from freshwater. Plus we have a king tide going on. So that's definitely been a big issue for our friends there at southeastern North Carolina today. Meanwhile, wet weather extends from Raleigh all the way now to Charlotte. So here's that latest track and actually here's some of those radar estimates just to show you see that big bullseye right there of anywhere from 12 to 16 inches in the rain gauge, specifically just to the south of Wilmington, shutting down roadways. No surprise there as of five o'clock the winds continue to weaken so at this point not expecting it to reach that tropical storm status still though producing the heavy rainfalls we just saw across North Carolina that's going to be pushing inland and then eventually fizzling out as we head into tomorrow also keeping a close eye still on tropical depression Gordon forecast to restrengthen back to tropical storm status midweek over the open waters of the Atlantic great news though this is not a threat to land so as of now it's definitely something we'll be watching but no other development is forecast, so knock on wood, things are nice and quiet here in the middle part of September.